Hey everybody, how you doing? Mr. Bookman here, and today I'm going to be reading Little Mo's Wish by Sang Kun Kim. Please enjoy. And I don't know if any of you have noticed, but my comment session has been disabled by YouTube. I'm sorry about that. I can't do anything about it. It's one of these new rules that YouTube has to do this to us kid creators. So, very, very sorry for that. And my comment session isn't working. But, please enjoy this story. If any of you get it. Little Mo's Wish. On the day the first snow came, Little Mo was headed home by himself. He came across a small snowball. Hi, he said, greeting the snowball with his nose. Can I tell you something, whispered Little Mo. I just moved here. I don't have any friends. The snowball listened quietly. We're going to take the bus, said Little Mo. That's how we get home. It's going to be so much fun. He and his friend waited patiently. Along came Mr. Bear's bus. Hey, kid, you can't bring a snowball on here. But this is my friend, said Little Mo. Your friend, snow is just snow. It'll melt. Mr. Bear drove off. Little Mo had a br brilliant idea. He and his friend waited patiently. Along came Mr. Fox Bus. Hey kid, you can't bring a snowball on here. But this is my bear, said Little Mo. A bear? That big lump of snow? Mr. Fox drove off. Little Mo had a brilliant idea. He and his friend waited patiently. Night fell. Look. A shooting star, explained Little Mo. Grandma says a shooting star makes you wish come true. I hope my wish comes true. Are you cold? Here, you can wear my hat. I'm sure the bus will be here soon. Along came Mr. Deer's bus. Look at you two. You must be freezing. Hop on. I'll, you'll catch a cold. It was so cozy and warm on the bus, little Mo grew sleepy. When Little Mo woke up, he was all alone. Mr. Deer, have you seen my friend? I think he already got off, said, said Mr. Deer kindly. You should have really hurried home. Your family must be worried. I didn't even get to say goodbye, Little Mo thought. He tugged home slowly. There you are, Little One. Your 
frozen solid, Grandma folded Little Mo into a warm embrace. embrace. As always, she listened quietly as Little Mo told her about his day. I wish I could help, she said. That light night, Little Mo couldn't fall asleep. Where did my friend go? The next morning, Little Mo heard Grandma calling. Little one, come look. You have a special visitor. And it was his friend from the bus. Oh, wasn't that a cute story, everyone? You know, instead of having a friend, he made a friend out of snow, and that was his friend for life. Have you ever done anything like that before? Um, if you have, let me know somehow. <laughs> Just curious. Well, everyone, I hope all of you enjoyed the story. And I want to say thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a fabulous one. Take care. This is Mr. Bookman. And this story time is over.